on today's show. We debate last night's worst gut punch loss, the craziest win streaks in the league, and the bigger dunk on KD. Miles Turner and Victor Oladipo are here in studio to play the newly teammates game. And Uncle Splash 3D joins us live from Milwaukee to set up tonight's Cavs Bucks. It's Tuesday, December 19th. The starter starts now. Good evening, sweet world, and welcome to the starters presented by Jack Daniels, Tennessee Honey. Whether you're joining us live right now on NBA TV, watching later on YouTube, listening to the podcast, doesn't matter. We're very happy to have you. I'm Jay Skeetson. Alongside me, as always, that's Tass Millis. Where have all the Cowboys gone? <laughs> to his right, the international man of mystery, taking it to the max. That's Lee Ellis. Friend, mm, Lily. Lily and last, certainly not least, over yonder. That's the bearded one. That's Trey Kirby. Hey! Hey! Yo! TK, what's up? Well, I'm here at the internet looking for your best tweets at hashtag the starters. And guys, we've seen a lot of weird things on the show, but I don't think we've seen anything quite like this because at last night's Heat Hawks game, a woman just straight up barfed. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh come on! Come on! <laughs> Late in the fourth quarter, very stressful, goes to cough, and the floodgates just <laughs> open. Mm. <laughs> Brings us to today's question. <laughs> what made this woman sick? There are quite a few possibilities, but I think I've narrowed it down to three good ones. Maybe she tried the cricket tacos down at the fortress. Oh, That's a real thing that they serve. Yeah. Maybe she brought in a rotten pocket dog. <laughs> you leave them in your pockets like I do, and they're going to go bad eventually. Or maybe the same thing happened to her that happened to Dion Waiters. As Ira Winderman of the Sun Sentinel tweeted, Dion Waiters said he threw up in the locker room after Monday's first quarter. Said he got ill from eating too much spaghetti. You got to watch how much spaghetti you're eating, people. Nonetheless, we want to hear from you, so let us know on Twitter. How did this woman get sick at the Heat <laughs> Hawks game? Send us your best tweets to hashtag the starters. And if you're a Paula Cole fan like Tass Mellis, send us those tweets. <laughs> All right. It's the holiday season. Could have been the eggnog. Got me Could've once. Been the nog. Got me once here on the show. A whole bunch of eggnog. And what, it's you think she up. lost a bet with her friend? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly <laughs> right. Just had to chug a bunch of eggnog and got sick. That's really gross. All right, we got a fun show tonight, though. We got Pacer stars Victor Oladipo and Miles Turner. They're going to join us live in studio. We'll talk to 3D, getting ready for players only, baby. Bucks and the Cavs. We got Lee's very solid play. But let's start with a little what you got. Looking back at last night's action. Trey's going to throw some questions at us. We'll ultimately decide on an answer. you got to be careful, though. There's only one correct response, and that's whatever TK says it is. Trey. Really fun evening of basketball last night, but not for a couple of teams. The Lakers almost ended Kobe week with a bang by knocking off the Warriors on the night that Kobe had his numbers retired, only to see air balls and a late block shot thwart their upset bid over Golden State. The Pacers came back from 19 down to take a late fourth quarter lead that Boyan Bogdanovich literally threw away on a path that would get you benched in middle school. Guys, what was the tougher loss? The Lakers or the Pacers? What you got? Would have been nice for the Lakers to win on Kobe night. That being said, we got to start with that Pacers game. Yep. I mean, just that one pass. T going into Monday night, teams up five, under 30 seconds left, were 379 and 0 mm. this season. They had not lost until this. I mean, the Pacers just had to hit their free throws. Yeah, well, they had to, to get to the free throw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on to the yeah. ball to get fouled to go to the free throw. I, I will say in Bogdanovich's defense, even though he had seemingly plenty of options and hindsight is 2020, when people charge you like that, you panic a little bit. He throws the ball away just to try to get it out of his hands. Wasn't a great pass. Smart play by Rosier. Yeah. Even smarter that Rosier kind of knew he had time to dunk it and didn't just rush the shot because sometimes it's like, well, I've only got three seconds. I have to launch a bomb. He knew he yep. had the right time. So smart play there by Rosier. But uh, I feel bad for Bogdanovich in this situation. But more of a gut punch loss because the Pacers did a great job of getting back in this game. Yeah. I mean, they were down huge early in the first quarter. 18 points in the first quarter, still down big at half. Oladipo took over. We'll obviously have Oladipo and Miles on later. He took over, got them back in the game. Then they're up. It looked like they had it. Yeah. Corey Joseph had the ball, and he made the right play. I mean, Boyan was open, but he's a 77% career free throw shooter. So as your guard, he could have held it. Same with Boyan. He's an 86% career free throw shooter. One of those guys just turtles, gets fouled, mm. hits one, and it's very, very, very likely over. Um, yeah, and, and end, Boyan yeah. also has a live dribble that he could do something oh, yeah. with. I yeah. mean, the Celtics huddle was great because two things happened. The charge, you know, by Shane Larkin there, mm -hmm. knowing Rozier was coming behind. Also, he knew how much time he, he had to go throw it down because Boyan – 
you know, it was almost caught up to him. I, yeah. thought, I thought maybe he could have just dove at that arm a little bit. I mean, <laughs> oh, you, you just wow. gave up that game. Yeah. He tried to get you, back. Yeah. Get that hard foul. He felt awful. You could tell he knew straight away he was trying to get back to prevent it, but uh, Rosie was too quick. All right, we all agree here. It is the Pacers <laughs> with the tougher loss. The Lakers, the Lakers, oh. that was something. That's a learnable loss, though, for the Lakers. They're playing the Warriors. Yeah. Hold on, no Draymond Green. Yes. No Draymond Green, no Steph Curry. Yeah. Klay Thompson has a terrible night. Kevin Durant has a terrible night until overtime. I mean, are you ever going to beat the Warriors? Oh, wow. I mean, those are those are all recipes. It was those all, all about, the it was all about Kobe anyway. It didn't really. Surprised really Kobe didn't come out in overtime and try to steer the Lakers. Yeah, that's <laughs> really, I mean, he left. Yeah. Everyone thought he was going to maybe get changed. Dre, what's the answer here? Oh come on, we're all in agreement. Okay. It's the Pacers for sure. They didn't have to do anything, and they won that game. They didn't have to do anything. Just stand there, anyways. Grab your green hats and follow me up the quad to the gymnasium. We're going streaking. The Rockets beat the Jazz last night, giving them 14 straight wins while keeping them undefeated with Chris Paul in the lineup. Meanwhile. The Bulls beat the 76ers, which gave them six straight wins and kept them undefeated with Nikola Mirotic in the lineup. Guys, what's the crazier streak, the Rocket or the Bulls? What you got? The Bulls, for sure. No one saw this coming when they were 3-20, and 20, especially with the off-court turmoil that they had coming into the season. And Nikola Mirotic has been fantastic. But let's also give Fred Hoiberg credit during this run because ever since he's been coach of the Bulls, he's had pushback from players, senior players. I think now he's actually communicating well to players and they're actually executing the way he wants to and you've seen the results. They're also beating good teams. They've beaten the Knicks, the Celtics, Jazz, Bucks and Sixers. Yeah. Decent teams right now. I don't think anyone really thought the Bulls were going to do this. It has to be Chicago. Now, there was two trades in the offseason we thought were straight fleeces. Victor Oladipo and DeMont Sabonis for Paul George. And this Bulls one that is not quite Victor Oladipo level yet, where we assume that sort of the Pacers have won it. But Jimmy Butler going for Lowry Markinen, Zach Levine, and Chris Dunn, we thought was an entire fleece. But Lowry Markinen coming out, playing well. And Chris Dunn. Looking like a baller. If he can shoot, if he can get a shot, he'll be even better. Yeah. That's I, the thing. He's and, not and shooting all that well. But. No, but he's shooting well from three. A yeah. very respectable 38.6 from three. And handling the ball. He's running an offense. He's only become a starter 15 games ago. He's doing extremely, extremely well in that role. I, I will go with the Rockets, though. I, I think they're just a forgotten team because they keep reeling off all these wins. But they had an eight-point deficit heading into the fourth, and they won the game by 21. <laughs> That's 20. why I'm not surprised. It was just like Eric Gordon three, Eric Gordon three, Eric yeah. Gordon three, Trevor Reason three, Eric Gordon three. Game was over. They won. In the blink of an eye, it was unbelievable. And another game here where Harden went to the bench and they reeled off a huge win, a huge run. They did it last night, a 15-0 run, and they had that 25-0 run against the Hornets. So I'll go Rockets. These guys go with the Bulls. Trey, you're the Bulls fan. Nikola Mirotic for MVP? Uh, it's got to be. It's got to <laughs> be the Bulls. Six wins would have been a great month, and they're doing it all in a row. I'm loving it. Tass was right. The Bulls are good. Guys, <laughs> Kevin Durant is the second in the league in blocks. That means he's getting dunked on. Happened twice last night. First, when Julius Randle got him in transition during the first quarter. Then just a quarter later on a similar play, Larry Nance Jr. running the wing, threw one down on the Warriors star. Huge dunk. Guys, what was the bigger dunk on Durant? Randle or Nance? What you got? It's Nance. Yeah. Nance, that looked like an NBA Jam-like dunk. Mm. The extension, the hang time. It, 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 it's similar to the one he put on Brooke Lopez last year uh, to, uh, to me. And it's the same reaction, too. He kind of surprises himself. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's very similar. So he just cocks it back there and throws down. And it's really cool as he, as a bigger guy, too, seeing it from him. Yeah. Just like Pop. So, you know, Randall's was great. And I love KD trying to challenge these guys. Yeah. You know, he is one of the leading shot blockers. But I think that it's Larry. Is, that one was graceful. That yeah. is art. Okay, so we all agree. We all agree. Larry Nance Jr. Trey. How can you pick against Larry Nance Jr.? People are saying that's already the dunk of the year. You agree? We'll find out <laughs> on the Twitter. Starters Urine Review Show next week. When we come back, hey two Pacers in the house. Yeah, Victor Oladipo and Miles Turner. Join us live on set. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the Starters, where we're joined by two of the brightest young stars in the game from the Indiana Pacers, Miles Turner and Victor Oladipo. Thanks for coming, guys. Oh, thanks for having us, man. Thank you. Miles, welcome back. Victor, I can't believe Miles didn't tell you to run away and not come on this program. <laughs> no, nah, y'all cool people, man. We really appreciate you guys <laughs> coming on. No we, we got some fun questions. We got a fun little game. It's the starters. We always do that. But I'll rip the Band-Aid off right away. What happened last night with, against the Celtics? You guys crawled back from 19. <laughs> it was an incredibly close game. Victor, you were on fire late. And then the, the turnover happened. I'm, I guess I'm more curious what happens after that occurs. Like... Do you go into the locker room and talk about it right then? Do you sit on it a day and coach talks about it later? What happens there? Uh, I think you kind of just got to move on quickly. I mean, it was a tough game. We dug ourselves in 
I felt like the biggest hole possible in the first quarter. I don't think they missed a well, shot. They started 10 for 10, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think mm-hmm. they missed a shot. Um, and we showed a little resilience, and we came back, and just one of those funky plays, man, come up short. And fortunately, it was, it was, it was, it was tough, but... You know, it was a good test for us. and We realized that we could compete with the best team in the East. Right. And we should take that confidence from it. Yeah, and the biggest thing is, you know, you got to, there's obviously a lot of negatives there, but there's a lot of positives that came out of this game. You know, we're still a young team and uh, still a team that's coming together and still that's building. And uh, you take some of those, um, you know, aspects of that game and build off of it. And after the game, you know, obviously, you know, Bogey's a little upset about what happened, but... You know, you don't rag on it, you don't rag on it. You, you just know, try and pick him up and exactly. on to the next one. Exactly. Like, Definitely. That's, that's been the biggest thing in our locker room this, this year, man, is the positivity, the togetherness. And, um, you know, that's one example of it right there. Fantastic. Well, I know, I know Victor's been hesitant to talk about this. I saw you on NBA TV. You're playing the mad humble card right now. So I'm going to ask you, Miles. Mm-hmm. This guy an all-star lock? Oh, undoubtedly. Come, come February 2018. <laughs> undoubtedly. And, you know, that, that's just Vic's mindset, but... I mean, the way that he carries himself is unbelievable, and that's kind of what helps this team as well. And, um, you know, he's definitely a lock. I mean, the stuff he's doing this year is unbelievable. He's, uh, he's carried us, and, uh, you know, it's uh, going to be happy with the team that I got. I am curious, knocking on wood here, Victor, I think you're going to make it. What's your, what's your take on this whole with the captains selecting the teams? You love the idea? Your game for it? Because, you know, there's been some blowback and some rumors, oh, maybe it's a, a little too sensitive. No one wants to be picked last. What's your, what's your take on this? I don't, I don't know. You know, I don't, I don't have a clue. I don't even know how they pick or what's going on. <laughs> He's trying to I don't even about. know how they used to pick, honestly. <laughs> right. We were, we were um, trying to figure it out before the show. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah. It is mm-hmm. complicated. You know, but I, don't, I don't know, but whatever they feel is best, man, um, you know, do whatever floats their boat. I'm just going to focus on one day at a time and, Focus on getting wins for the Pacers. Absolutely. You're on your, your third team. You're a young guy. Is it safe to say you've never had a, a strong as defensive big guy oh, yeah, a, as Miles? Yeah. Does that help definitely. you as a defensive player yourself oh, yeah. because you can be more aggressive? Definitely, definitely. When you're in the course of a game and, uh, you know, me, I, I like to get a little antsy on defense. You know, I like to <laughs> see and stuff. So um, if you mess up one time, you know Miles is back there and he got your back. And, and, and it's vice versa. Even when he's in help defense, you about to go block a shot. I'm like, yo, I got your back. Just go. Right, right. I'll box out the big. Just go. So, so let's go ahead and nip this in the bud <laughs> on, on live TV. Vic has this weird conspiracy that he's going to beat me, you know. Oh, yeah. I'm a better shot blocker. He's a better shot blocker. He's a better shot blocker. That's okay. He's it's, a better moment. shot blocker than me. It's a long year. It's a long year. It's a long year. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys seem like fairly good teammates. I mean, mm-hmm. you've been there. You're the younger guy, but you've been on the Pacers three years. Vic obviously coming in the summer. Uh, do you consider yourself a good teammate? I, I like to think that I am, <laughs> and that's one thing that I've, I've done my entire career, and I'm going to continue to do. Well, let's put that to the test. Oh. It's time oh. to play <laughs> the newly teammates game, oh, where, where we find out where we find out where you know just how well Miles has gotten to know his teammate, oh. his new teammate here in Victor Oladipo. Let's see how we do, Miles. So <laughs> yeah, so here's how this works. Uh, we're going to ask you guys a series of questions. My bad, bro. Both of you are going to write down your answers. Now, you know, obviously don't look at what each other writes down. Yeah, yeah, I got you. know, you. keep it close to the chest. And then we'll have Miles reveal first and see, again, how well you know Victor Oladipo. First one, I think, yeah. you know, maybe mm. easy. What is Victor's <sighs> nickname? <laughs> I got it, yeah. So, yeah, and of course, yeah, Victor will also, yeah. <laughs> Victor's not right, like name. <laughs> You gotta write. You, you write, I gotta write down. Yeah, you write yeah, yeah, down. You write whatever, down. Whatever you think. Yeah, we'll see if we'll see if uh, Miles can get it. Okay, Miles, you can go ahead and show it. Oh, well, uh, he's writing a lot of letters. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just straight V O. The, uh, Mr. Feathery, we've that's heard that's right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't think he would get that one, but I had to put that one. Out. Yeah, where 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 does that come from? Feathery is like a way of life. It's like. It's better than better. It's not great. It's heavenly. It's right under that. It's feather. <laughs> well, there you go, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> right. Our next one here. Which pacer, again, this is who you think uh, Victor will say. Which pacer is most in need of a makeover? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I hope we're on the same page in this one. <laughs> you can gonna, say Victor if you he want. Gonna, you know, he's going to kill me for this one, so I hope okay. he's watching. Okay, here we go. I hope he's watching. <laughs> oh, is Which he going to see? Is most oh. Of okay. oh, man, I hope we get this one right. All right, Miles, why don't you, why don't you show it? Reveal it. Yes! Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, have a match. we have a match. Yeah. What's, wrong, what's wrong with this style? No, it's, it's not necessarily a it's style. Miles, yeah. It's Miles in his relationship. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Question three. 
This could be tough, but what is the number one item on Victor's Christmas wish list? What do you want? <laughs> what? <laughs> it can go anywhere. Yeah, like what? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thought you were a good teammate. <laughs> oh, Victor doesn't one. even know what he wants. Oladipo's Christmas list. Yeah. Sheesh. All right. Um, no no one said no it was going to be easy. No cheating. I'm not looking. I'm yeah. not looking. Yeah, I, I'm more. I'm more interested to see what Victor wants. You gotta want something. <sighs> You know, peace on earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, what we got? What we got? Right, let's see it, let's see it, Miles. What'd you what'd you go with? A headband! <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy get. Uh, you got a thick headband now. Yeah. Well, what were you going? Miles Turner jersey. Oh, <laughs> now that's a teammate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, we're trying to be good teammates, right? Yeah, he's on earth. Miles Turner. Fascinating answers. All right, a couple more here. What is Victor, now I, I know you, you've changed the diet, but what is Victor's still favorite fast food? Oh, come on, Miles, do you know this one? Ooh. Favorite oh, fast food. Come on, Miles. Oh. Miles, Ooh. we talked about this. <laughs> come on, Miles. <laughs> think, of, think about oh, yourself in this moment. Think. Oh, okay, got it, got it. Oh, okay. Uh, Maybe share code. a similar taste. Code Hopefully. language teammates. I hope so. All right, what do you this got, is, Miles? This is mine. What a oh! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we like showed him talking about yes, that. Yes, we did. We did. <laughs> have you have you cut out the Popeyes? Yeah, I don't eat Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I still do. You must miss it. <laughs> the stress right. years of my life. Our five. Well, a couple more here. A couple more here. Who is the most serious pacer on the team? Ooh. Yeah, who's the most wow. serious? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Hmm. We're. In the All right, we need an answer, guys. Okay, we need okay, an answer. I got you guys. Just go with it. I always go with your gut. Can't say coach either. All right. Hey. All right, what do you got, Miles? Oh, Dan Collison. Close. I put D Damian Wilkins. Damian oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which is oh, interesting. That's true, yeah. We actually thought it might be you, Victor. We were checking out your Instagram. That's a cool. You never <laughs> smile. <laughs> no. Occasionally. Yeah, fierce looks on the Instagram. What, what does it take no, no. to get a smile out of you? Right. <laughs> <laughs> the camera. Okay. All right. All right. Question six. Who is Victor's favorite singer? Ooh, Last not, one. He's not wow. going to get this. Yeah. No, he's not going to oh, get it? All right. Can I get a hint, male or female? Male. male. Oh, nice hint. OK. okay. Is he, he's is no he longer hurt? alive. Oh, 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 oh OK. okay nice point. hint. No longer alive. He's no longer alive. Mm. OK. Well, all right. I'm still not going to get it, but you know. You get, there's still a lot to pick from, unfortunately. Sure. <laughs> all right. We listened to him at practice one time. More than just oh, yeah, we was, ooh. Okay, got it, got it. All right, cross it out. What do you got? Okay, my hand is hand really bad. That's no, why that's I didn't want to throw it out. Yeah. Uh, yes! Yes! yes. 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 <laughs> Good guys. Yeah. Great job. Turns out you're great teammates, both of you. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. No Continued problem, success man. with the year. We'll see you at All-Star Weekend. Yes, you can sir. lock that in. You can lock that in on the stars. <laughs> There's no yeah, doubt. Yeah. Miles Turner and Victor Oladipo, guys. we got to take a break. When we return... Oh, we'll talk to Uncle Splash, the grill daddy himself, 3D live in Milwaukee. Don't go anywhere. The Starters is brought to you by Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey, official partner of the NBA. It's NBA TV players only tonight. Cavaliers and Bucks to let us know what's going on in Milwaukee. It's 3D Dennis Scott. See those grill marks? Uh. 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 Grill marks. Uh, hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, we're all feeling good. It's players only, baby. Uh, we got to get to this right off the top. The Bucks security guard, the infamous Bucks security guard. You took a photo with him today. Can you tell us, tell the people at home, who is this man? <laughs> well, it's a gentleman that used to work for the Bucks years ago, back when I played. 
and he passed away, so they made a little statue of him at the old practice facility. And this morning, I went to shoot around to the new practice facility, and they brought the statue down. So that's why I had to take a picture and see if real <laughs> basketball fans have ever been to the old Bucks practice facility. They will know who that gentleman wow. is. There he is, Art. <laughs> The man <laughs> by the name of Art. All right, good stuff. Art, there you go. Thank you, Art. Yes. All right, the Bucks are sliding 3D, lost three in a row. They're also extremely banged up. How do they turn this baby around? Well, you got to come in and get off to a great start. Like you said, everyone's banged up a little bit. But when guys are banged up, you heard this saying a lot, next man up. So who's going to be the new next man to step up tonight to get them playing better basketball? All right, Yanis is slowly coming for LeBron's title of best player in the league. We all sort of expect him to grab that title at some point down the road. Do you think LeBron James gets up for these games just a little bit more because he knows Yanis is coming for him? No question about it. Anytime Giannis comes into a game like this, LeBron James understands he has to remind the next, what we call next, the Greek freak of being one of the best players in the NBA. But I will tell you this, guys, he is must-see TV right now on how he's playing, how he's putting his team on his back, and showing his leadership, how he's letting Eric Bledsoe fit in and play good basketball as well. All right, 3D, we had to have a quick one. We went a little bit long with Miles Turner and Victor Oladipo. What are you going to do, a live television, man? It's okay, baby. That's all right. As long as y'all got my grill marks, and I'm look good. The players on it, we good, baby. Yeah. It's, okay. Right. it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. We will see you tonight. Cavs, Bucks on NBA TV. We gotta take a quick break. The most solid play from Monday's 10 game sked. Coming right up. Two guys out here on this court are best of friends. There's not a person on this earth, Isaiah, who know me better than you. And look who he pushes, his best buddy. We're going to talk about <laughs> his joy and pain. <laughs> we never really got a chance to have this conversation. My wife, my mother have been saying, y'all need to get back together. I know, man. It hurt me, too. That looks like must-watch TV. Isaiah and Magic premieres tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern here on NBA TV. All right, pick and play time. Cavs and Bucks. Woo! Trey and I like the Bucks at home. Lee and Tass like the Cavs. Lee, Lee, very solid play. Heading out to Chile, Minnesota for a fire play here from the Blazers. The ball really fizzes around. Everyone gets a touch. Shabazz Napier starts Whoa, very, it and wow. ends it with a switch. Oh, that's what I call a very solid play. The Twitter Show podcast is up. It's ready for your ear holes. We discuss our favorite moments from Kobe's jersey retirement. And with the possibility of Vince Carter returning to Toronto, Lee was a little confused about the banners hanging in the arena. Talk about a team that likes hanging banners. They're desperate for a banner in that town. They'll hang their division banners. Isn't the there Atlantic a Tim Horton's uh, banner hanging oh, up yeah, there? Tim, 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 Hort Tim Horton, the hockey he player. He was a player, oh, man. Right, right. But I hanging was... like uh, the 12 best Timbits yeah, or something that's what like I thought that. it was. <laughs> Canada, send us Timbits. We're hungry. That's it for us tonight. Thanks to Miles and Victor. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. And remember, Timbits are delicious. <laughs> Praise the night, people.